Okay, now that we have our NPC Sven all set up, let's give him some dialogue. In order to do that, we're going to bring up the dialogue editor. And we're going to start off by defining who our speakers are in this conversation. So if I hit edit dialogue speakers, I'm going to hit add, then edit. In the filter over here, we could just type in Sven, since he's going to be one of the people in this conversation. We'll add him there. And the other speakers that we'll want to add to this is the players themselves. If we hit edit, and then we just type group. Oops. We type players. We want to add group players. Those are the two speakers that we have in this. I'm not going to try and cover three or four person dialogues at this point. Um, it's complicated, and quite honestly, I haven't gotten it to work before, so we're going to keep it simple and just have two speakers here. So the first thing we want to do is add a node, and it will be a greeting. So you can see that, uh, before I do this, you can see that it defaults to Sven as the greeter. If we double click this, we hit add, we can add some text here. So for Sven's greeting, this is going to be what our quest is all about. Hello, thank the seven you're here. It's launch day and our studio has no power. Can you help us? Now, if you look over here, you see that there are rules. If we wanted to, we could add, you can add more than one text segment here. We could add another one and we can define rules for um, when certain text blocks show up. For instance, when the group, any of the group players has, oops, has a tag, oh, you know, pet pal or something like that. You could add that to a text and then it would only display um, when that rule is met. But for now, we're not going to create any rules. We're just going to get rid of it and this will always display. So when we click that, you'll see the text inside the box. And we'll want to add some possible replies for the player. Now there are a number of different um, options you have here for what kind of node is going to be added. For this one, um, it might not be intuitive. You might think that we would add an answer for this, but what we actually want to do is add a question node. And let me see, if we were to add an answer, you'll see here that it actually expects it to be Sven that's talking. So if you look at the default speaker, it kind of helps indicate which one you would want. I think the reason they're called question and answer is because perhaps in a typical dialogue, uh, the NPC doesn't necessarily ask you a question in the very first statement. I think they typically expect a greeting and then the actual player will ask a question like, what's your name? What do you do? So on and so forth. So anyway, for this purpose, we want to uh, use a question node and we'll add some text and this is if the player accepts the quest of course I can think I can't think of a more urgent matter we'll add that and for this one um, we will want to add an end node because that will end the conversation uh, we can also get rid of these stubs I don't know if they'll make a difference yet uh, these are basically there um, they were there for Larian Studios to indicate certain nodes that still needed voiceover or basically had not been finalized yet. But since we aren't doing that, we can get rid of them. Um, I don't know that the tool set has been updated so that the stub flags go away, but we'll get rid of them anyway and see what happens. Uh, so I'll add another question node. And for this node, we will use what the player will say if they reject the quest. Sorry, I'm busy eating cheese. And we'll want to make that an end node. I'm going to get rid of the stub. And that should be it for a very simple conversation. So we will save this as NPC Sven default. 
Now if we had made any logical errors in our dialog, for instance if we didn't have end nodes or if we had done something that confused the dialog editor, it would have told us that we had an invalid conversation structure when we saved it. Um, since we didn't get that, it looks like we have something that is workable. Let's assign it to our NPC and see what happens. So under his default dialog, we'll add NPC spin default. We'll save. And then we'll play. We'll click on spin and here we go. Hello, thank the seven you're here. It's launch data our studio so power can help us. And we get our two options here. And they did get rid of uh, the stubs on the options, but not on here. And of course we get this every time we talk to him.